What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate reverse ranch, no hate. So real quick, I just want to talk about Josh Taylor versus Catterall. Jack Catterall, listen. Um, salute both men for showing up to do what they had to do. Um, in my opinion, Catterall won that fight. You know, he out-hustled him, he out-fought him, he out-boxed him. He did everything better than Josh Taylor that night. Josh Taylor said he had a bum knee. It was hard for him to take the weight off. And pretty much, he's in the same situation as Teofimo Lopez, with the exception that he got his hand raised and got the victory. Um, but I still feel like the wrong man got his hand raised. Now, I've been giving Josh Taylor his props, and I will give any fighter their props. But I'm not a yes man. I'm not going to sit around and pretend or go along with something or, you know, um, just to fit in with everybody or or or... or, or just to be optimistic and say the opposite. But in all honesty, I feel like Josh Taylor lost that fight. And I don't feel like it was that close where you had to really look at it. And I mean, when you when you look at fights like that and you see those type of decisions and people get to the point, like you even hear them saying, like with the, with the heavyweight fight between um, um, Tyson Fury and Dillian White, they're saying we don't want British judges, they're all British judges because, nah, we don't trust the system. And, there's all kinds of shit that's going on now because, like, when, when you have decisions like that, yeah, it, it will make you feel skeptical about certain things. But at the same time, it's like, you know, look, it's not the end of the world. The only thing happened was two men fought. The man that should have won didn't get his hand raised. Now, where does Catterall go from here? We don't know. His stock should still be high because at the end of the day, you went there with Josh Taylor, and most people feel like you won that fight. I'm one of them, but the judges saw it different. Now, Lopez, his situation with, you know, saying this is his last fight at 135, he's going to do 140. Now, he called up, he, he, he made it known that he wanted Josh Taylor, him and his dad. Josh Taylor said, look, man, we haven't even negotiated. I don't know why this guy's calling my name, like we got some fight going on, right? So now Josh Taylor is saying this is his last fight at 140. He's going to 147. He was asked about fighting Terrence Crawford, and he said, yeah, I mean, definitely, I, 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 that's the fight I want. And pretty much um, after that performance, okay, if your knee is fine and 147, you can make that weight with no problem, okay. That fight happens, well, made a better man win. I basically don't want to hear anything about people talking about weight. And what they could or couldn't do when you've been in this sport long enough to know. That's why I tell people, they can say what they want. Now, you bring up Floyd Mayweather's name and, you know, whether you're talking good or bad about him. One of the things that people always overlook with Floyd is his discipline. How he trained consistently. And what, what gets me about Floyd is, usually when people get money, they kind of lose that hunger. They, they, Floyd stayed hungry. They stayed dedicated. And you're the richest boxer in the history of the sport, but yet was the hungriest. And constantly was in that gym training. And said several times his body's breaking down. And, you know, he got to do what he has to do. He's, you know, but constantly. You never heard Floyd Mayweather make excuses. Oh, man, the weight. Oh, I could have did this. I could have did that. No, man. It's, it's dedication. Like you always say, hard work, dedication. And, you know, things do happen. But at the same time, if you have to get a nutritionist, whatever it is you have to do, you have the money to do it. You're not struggling financially. You can do what you need to do to be the best versions of you. So when you get in that ring, we don't have to hear nothing about it was the weight. I couldn't do this because of that. Or I wanted to do this, but this happened. You know, um, best wishes to both men. Um, but basically, I heard, too, that he, he he's basically going to be, if he goes to 147, He's going to be made the, man to, the mandatory challenger for Terrence Crawford's WBO. So if that's his next fight, especially do what you got to do. So there's no excuses when you go in there if you should lose that fight. So, you know, the fight was it was a good fight, man. But the wrong man got his hand raised. It's as simple as that. And like I said, Catterall stock should go up. And I'm not going to shit on Josh Taylor. I'm not going to shit on Chris Colbert. Or, you know, I forget the other guy's name, but um, it was it was a night of so-called upsets. But at the end of the day, it's a fight. Things happen. And I just salute 
every fighter that goes in there and take it serious and go to put that work in. At the end of the day, we get bad decisions. We get things happen that shouldn't happen. And, you know, people keep complaining about it, but what's actually changing? So it is what it is. And we want to see those things change, but until it does, anyway, never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth, but you hate out of people, and I will catch y'all on the next video.